Certified uh, psychotherapist uh, and life coach Tunji Babajide has over 10 years practical experience in coaching and therapy to upwardly mobile professionals in different sectors of the economy and in Nigeria and abroad. Uh, he is an expert on our Monday motivation this morning. And this morning we're going to be talking about something uh, slightly different. Uh, maintaining a source of uh, a state of resourcefulness throughout the year 2020. Now, this is really, really important, especially at the beginning of the year like this. Um, sometimes you just feel like things are not working. Things are working, but they're not working as Probably fast as, as they should better. be. You just feel like things should be better than that. I should yeah. be better than this and all of that. Yeah. And sometimes uh, you're saying that it boils down to resourcefulness. So let's start from the beginning. Okay, so the what first thing is, is yeah. to, uh, let's define what resourcefulness is. So resourcefulness is the ability to use existing resources to look at the options of how to make them um, achieve your goals, your daily goals, your monthly goals, your weekly goals. So uh, and look, looking at the existing resources, what do yeah, I have now? So, so it depends on the context that we're looking at. So we're looking at the workplace. So uh, maybe for your organization, they've given you a laptop. Uh, my mind not, mine might not be the best. Um, they might be, I'm giving you an office. They might have given you a role. Now it's left to you to sit down and ask yourself, what do I have to achieve my goal? Um, how do I sit down to unnest the resources that I have? How flexible am I with the options uh, that I've been able to look into? How adaptable am I? Um, how much? Because you see, there's no one that is not resourceful um, it's just that several people are not in a resourceful state. Mm. And to be in a resourceful state, you must first even set a goal uh, and commit to not just achieving your goals, but ensuring that you want to grow. A lot of people, yeah, they're setting New Year goals. Oh, it's a new year. We want to set uh, the decade, the goals for the decade. But the reality is, yes, the goals can come and go. But a lot of people don't set time, the goals out to now grow mm. because it's your growth that will determine your state of resourcefulness. Uh, because a lot of people don't even have the clarity they don't even know why because I would like to say to people it's not what you don't have that's the problem it's what you have and you don't know how to use so, so uh, Tsuji, I mean okay. it's um, so I like all, all, all the things that you're saying so <laughs> okay. you could, but sometimes people yeah. can get lost in in a lot of the words yeah. we're talking about resourcefulness and the fact that you were saying just now that using what you have yeah and you know, in, in different organizations, people feel like um, maybe management doesn't understand them or doesn't understand the problem that I'm going through in my department. If they okay. just gave me this, yeah. if, if I had an official car or, or if I had a, a, a faster laptop, okay. like you said, yeah. uh, I would be more resourceful. Mm -hmm. You just said if I had a driver and yeah. I could sit in the back and do some work, some stuff, maybe yeah. send out some emails yeah. while the car is moving. And sometimes, uh, those those things can actually be constraints to productivity and, and, and a number of other things. How do I get my points across okay. uh, to people that matter who can change that state for me? Okay, so the most important thing is for you to first sit down and ask yourself, okay, so what do I have? If they, this is what they have given to me to work with, how do I optimize it? And you see, um, you might have all of the tools, but if you are not in a resourceful state, it will be more difficult for you to achieve all that you are intended to achieve. So it starts with your internal conversation. So what conversations are you having with yourself? How much of value have you placed on yourself? Is the value you place on yourself that will determine the value you bring on the table? Um, so there are people who feel, oh, there's a rock right ahead of me, or there's a mountain right ahead of me. Um, and some people have looked at, oh yeah, there's a mountain ahead of me, but I could surmount them, I could cross over them, I could bypass them. So it's all dependent on how you see yourself. It boils back to a whole lot of things, part of which is self-esteem. Mm -hmm. uh, because you can have a lot of resources, but if you don't put value on yourself, if you don't even know um, the, what the values that you need for your job description or for your goals to be attained, you'll realize that you'll just be dancing around the same mountain and not be able to achieve the so, goal. So self-esteem, is that one of of the first things that I'm thinking about if I'm maintaining uh, resourcefulness a, for the year. A, a state of resourcefulness. Yes, because, because that, you need to you need about. to believe that you need you need to believe that you are valuable before you can add value to yourself. Mm. You need to see um, the clarity of self development. You need to know that yes, this is the goal ahead of me. Because okay, let me take you back a bit. So for us to be able to look into the year and say how do I become resourceful, you need to first set the goals. A lot of people don't even know that there is a goal that has to drive me every morning, that make, has to make me wake up to say, hey, there's a task ahead of me. What res 
what resources do I need to juggle with to become resourceful? And the three things that has to be in, in perspective, whatever you have, you must be flexible with them. Mm -hmm. You must be adaptable. I mean, and you must be willing to learn, relearn and unlearn. Resourcefulness is not just about learning. Uh, the 21st century, the new millennium, the new decade has ushered into us some disruptions. Mm -hmm. There are certain things that worked in the other, uh, the other decade that won't actually work for too long. So resourcefulness also requires for you to learn, for you to relearn, for you to unlearn certain things that you've been doing before. Then also it's important for you to find people who commit to that self-development, that growth, so that you can find inspiration, so your iron can be sharpened by another iron, and ultimately you can go back to work. But if you hang around people who don't just pay lip service to self-development, pay lip service to goals, pay lip service to growth, you realize that you will not be able to attain that because the energy, uh, because emotions are contagious. Yeah. Uh, so if you hang around people like that, you get to work and you're like, man, why am I so drowsy uh, this morning? So there's a whole lot that comes on the table. I, I, I want to talk about uh, people who, who have attained a certain age. Okay. So, um, so I'm in a certain kind of profession, mm. and but I'm, I'm advancing in age. Yeah. And so a lot of my skills are becoming outdated. So maybe, maybe I was trained in the 80s or even <laughs> in the 70s. <laughs> and now everything has changed. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't seem like I'm keeping pace. Mm. Uh, the state of the mind, the state of resourcefulness in that kind of in that kind of space. What would you say to someone in their fifties or in their sixties who still have to work to make ends meet and all of that, and still maintain a state of resourcefulness? So it goes back to the three things I said. So if you're at that state, it's time for you to unlearn certain things you were taught in the eighties. Um, I said to many organisations that I'm privileged to facilitate with. I said, well, if you're going to do well in anything, you must commit to continuous improvement. Mm. Uh, continuous improvement means that the certain things I was doing prior to this time. Um, then I had to look introspect and ask, is it still viable? Is it still useful? Uh, then now come and ask questions. I mean, we're blessed with the internet. We're blessed with resourceful people. So it becomes a very paramount and a front burner issue to ask yourself, hey, uh, will I be relevant with the things that I'm still doing now or will I be out of place? I mean, someone in the 80s or someone in the 70s probably will be in their mid-40s or early 40s. Mm. Um, with the technological advancement, with the innovation that we have now, you've got to upgrade your skill. You've got to scale up your skill. It is How about people who are, that are scared of technology? And well, they, 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 they will business. be out of place in no time because, I mean, I was mentioning a particular organization, uh, they call themselves Research in Motion. A lot of us who were a lot uh, uh, younger then, we used to brag about BlackBerry. We used to say, oh, BlackBerry was the phone. If you had a BlackBerry, you could easily wink at a chick and say, hey, how you doing? And they'd come in your direction. But you know, their name is Research in Motion. But you know, they got comfortable with the figures. Mm. Uh, so I used to say that they moved from Research in Motion to Rest in Peace, RIM to RIP. Mm. Um, so anyone who is not willing to question what they're doing, to now commit to the new things they need to do um, in an unstoppable way, will just become, move from whatever name it is to Rest in the peace, they will not be relevant. The 21st century, the workplace, the energy for the next level is dependent on your ability to introspect, ability to have continuous improvement, ability to commit your energy to the goals that is needful for you to attain the goals, uh, the things that you want to achieve. All right, so uh, as we're rounding off now, I mean, okay. there's someone watching now who's saying to themselves, look, State of resourcefulness, I need to make some progress uh, in this year, 2020. I mean, let's not even talk about the decade because it just feels very, very large. Very what, what are the, what are, what, what's that one thing that you would say to them to start doing from today? Okay, so the one thing I'll say to them is to first sit down, assess your state of resourcefulness and find what you need to relearn, but maybe you had forgotten, find what you need to unlearn, that is absolute, and find what you need to learn so that you can charge after your goals in an unstoppable manner. Ah, we're going to be tackling those KPIs <laughs> for the rest of uh, this year and making sure that, uh, you know, you get more, more resources and uh, using what you have to get what you need, to get where you need to go. Thank you so much. Uh, it's a pleasure.